Well, there are certain frequencies and certain materials which have the ability to resonate and produce sounds, which in itself carries something of God's intention, creational intention in that. We also have the ability to use sounds as a carrier wave of our intention. So it's like your intention is carried over a carrier wave of sound to impart into something else. Um, and you get that obviously um, in all sorts of technological things, um, sound waves, uh, light waves, you know, they can carry information. We know fiber optics carry lots of information. Mm. within light so they're now changing and upgrading copper wire as our communication system to fiber optics which essentially are, is a different way of having communication take place mm. and i do believe that's sort of a picture of what happens spiritually in terms of communication and knowledge which comes through relationships it's not intellectual information it is experience you know that you know what you've experienced you don't just have someone telling you about it yeah you have experience and that experience itself brings about a resonance an agreement a vibrational energy that this is the let's say this here's the truth and it's vibrating and you bring something close to the truth and that is entrained to vibrate at the same frequency. Therefore, it begins to come into agreement with. So the more we spend time close to the heart of God, the more our heart is in alignment with his heart and we literally resonate with him. Then when we speak, our voice resonates his authority because we resonate his intention and not our own now ultimately our intention and his intention will become one you know um that's what happens when you get close enough to something you join and become one whoever's joined to the lord is one spirit with him yes yeah. that's in corinthians so we just need to be close enough to be joined to become one to be in union you know uh, and that's really really important to be able to see in terms of frequency and harmony and vibration and all these sort of terminologies which are used um, in different ways to promote different ideas and philosophies ultimately god is light you know there are only three things well four if you count fire but it says god is light god is spirit god is love and God is a consuming fire. The rest of the things are God is like her. You know, so he's like lots of things which are figuratively expressing what he's like to help us understand from our human perspective. But he is light. He is love. Therefore, light and love are synonymous terms. The light of love. Love's light. You know, there's something about the nature of light which carries the ability to create. It is the foundational building blocks of all reality and forms that reality when it collapses possibilities into realities. But right now, there are billions of possibilities to exist, exist right now, what we're gonna do next, what we're gonna say next, where we're gonna go next. And if we keep uh, choosing those realities from our past experience then we keep replicating the same life but if we start choosing those realities out of what we see in god's heart for us then we start to produce a different life a life which is aligned to who we really are so That's i think true. we should learn a lot about how to use how to vibrate in resonant uh, harmony with god with free in that frequency and then we will be able to be creative in that light will respond to us as it does to respond to God. But we right. need to make sure we're in tune with the heart of God. So our choices are aligned to his and we don't act independently doing our own thing.